What better title for a new Broadway musical than New York, New York? David Pogue takes us on Broadway. I'll bet you can name this tune before the singing even starts. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. John Kander and Fred Ebb wrote that song. Their scores for Broadway shows like Cabaret, Chicago, and Curtains have won four Tony Awards, two Grammys, two Emmys, and a street in Times Square. Three, two, one, Today, Kander is 96 and utterly uninterested in all the hero worship. I don't relate to it. I really don't, just as I don't relate to the fact that we're sitting here doing some sort of interview on television. But, I mean, uh, Chicago is now the longest-running American musical in Broadway history, and you are now the longest-working Broadway composer in history. I think that's weird. I don't really feel much different than the insecure guy that met you all those years ago. Oh, that's right. I've known Kander since 1987 when I played piano for his off-Broadway show, Flora, the Red Menace. He's always said that his music writes itself. Music goes on in my head all the time, even while we're having this conversation. Wow. If I put my hands on the keyboard, they will do something. So this is you composing right now. This is new stuff. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's any good. For over 40 years, Kander wrote the music and Fred Ebb wrote the lyrics. Sometimes you're happy. Freddie and I were such different people. And yet when we went into a room to work, all of that dropped away and we became one thing. Fred Ebb died in 2004. And yet this week, a new Kander and Ebb musical opens on Broadway. David Thompson co-wrote the script, and Susan Stroman is the director and choreographer. Easy. Which is a big deal for me. Because we all worked on Flora the Red Menace in 1987. Well, you look the same. We all, well, we all look the same. We all look the same. Wow. I feel like I'm in New York. Of course. It's New York, New York very loosely based on the 1977 movie, for which Kander and Ebb wrote five songs. We wanted to celebrate artists who come to New York to change their lives, to be the best at what they do. I came here with nothing, like hundreds before me, and millions behind me. The musical is set in 1947, and tells five interwoven stories about aspiring musicians. I won't be afraid. It's my New York. It was right after the war. New York was hopeful. People were pulling plywood off the storefronts. There's something about that particular time that feels like the time now in New York. You know, we are going to pull this city back up to where it used to be. Some of the songs come from the movie. Some are Kander and Ebb songs that have never been heard before. And some are new with lyrics by another famous Broadway talent. My job is to be as fast as he is and just, you know, match him beat for beat. Lin-Manuel Miranda, the creator of In the Heights and Hamilton, saw an early draft of the show. I was just so knocked flat by, by the show itself, the beautiful love letter to New York. I just said, whatever else you need, like, please let me know. For which we are not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One new song is set in Grand Central's Whispering Arch, an architectural quirk that lets you hear a whisper from 30 feet away. When I heard you sing, it changed everything. Can you hear me? Could you 
ever be with a wreck like me? Could you hear me? Could I ever be a part of the song inside your heart? As for this song... Spreading the news. That's not the first version Kander and Ebb wrote in 1977. The movie's star, Robert De Niro, didn't like the original song and asked that they try again. Some actor was going to tell us how to write a song. Anyway, we went to the piano, and the first thing that happened on the piano with nothing in my head was... And inside of that vamp is start, spread. And so we wrote that song in 45 minutes. Oh, God. <laughs> no, no, truly. And I think it was partly because we were so pissed off. <laughs> Their second attempt became world famous. But Kander, with his trademark humility, doesn't get what all the fuss is about. I listened last night to that audience kind of roar when that song happened. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just don't understand it. I can make it Here's what I understand. I understand making stuff and making stuff with your friends. Come on. I understand that every once in a while you will make something that you love and the sizzle inside your guts when that happens is something that nobody can take away from you. <laughs>